Good morning, you guys. So, I'm over here at Grandma's and I'm watching the kids while they do, do their virtual school. And, and I'm looking a little cute. Hmm. Yeah, I still love that. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to have me an apple. I just cut it skin off with my favorite salt and vinegar seasoning. And then I'm going to have my breakfast cup. So I'm going to have that and make that. And then, yeah. So that's breakfast. And I hope you guys are continuing to stick with your journey. Um, I decided to get on the scale yesterday because remember I told you on my first, first initial video of when I'm losing weight. I was 212. I really was not. I did not even know until I got on the scale yesterday. Whatever for yesterday, it said 213 point something. I got on the scale today. I am, um, I know you're supposed to weigh yourself every day, but I was curious. But I'm 212.2. I'm so I have actually lost a pound. So I'm doing good. This is what it's looking like so far. And I bought these streamers right here from Dollar Tree. And it was only a dollar. And I had used some on a previous project. And so I just wanted to see what it would look like. I actually have some tape I ordered off Amazon. I pulled to be doing for this mirror. But I decided to do that on this right now. Just to see what it will look like. And I think I really, really like it a lot. And I have some diamonds as well also to go on there. Um, it will be really, really cute. So I'm going to bling it out. This is going to be the foundation background of it. And then I'm going to put some bling on it. So, yes, ma'am. And that's my back wall back there. I did that one already in my DIY. And, um, yeah, and that pearl right there, that is right here. I did that myself personally. I glue each pearl on there. So, yeah, just a little home decor for you guys. And I just have to finish doing it. I just put some E6000 on this mirror on the back. So, this clamp right here was actually holding this mirror in place back there so it won't move so you guys let me tell you why i'm so excited <laughs> it's because listen your girl's already down two pounds two pounds since what monday oh and um yes i'm super 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 excited and before you get to 30 pounds you gotta get to one but I lost two. <laughs> so I'm doing good, you guys. And shout out to me. Because I am happy. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. This is day three, as you already know. And <laughs> let's think about it. And guess what? Your girl is down two pounds already. Yes. Today, I am going, which I might see me meal prep. I have to clear some storage on my phone, of course. But... I will be having some cheesy Alfredo uh, Parm uh, Yeah, that sounds good. Parmesan. Some cheesy Alfredo. Um, what you call it? Cauliflower with some also with some um, the cheese in it. We provolone cheese with the Alfredo sauce and the steamed cauliflower, which is going to be absolutely superb. And I'm going to be having um, either these chicken wings I just bought, bought them an air fry or uh, some uh, mushroom meatballs. So, yeah. So that's about it. And I hope you guys are doing great on your journey. Hope you just hope you got all work and surprised the hell out of me and it got me so excited. Got these cheeks all the way up to these eyes. Make me wanna throw this cat back. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Y'all see I'm so excited and shit? That's what happens when you actually in love and happy with somebody and they pop up and surprise you. But your whole mood changed. I was already in a good mood. But now I'm in a better mood. And now I'm like, I want to call in. Like, listen, can you call me in early? Because my period just came on and I done fucked up all my shit and I need to go home and bathe. So I'll make up the time next week with you. But I need you to come in early because <laughs> I just had a blood clot fill out. <laughs> the shit that I say. Right. Anyways, you guys, I will check you out a little bit later. Um, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm super early, so where you going? 
Oh, I'm super early. It's just 2.30. You can probably swing over there. Yeah, and turn around, swing over there. And then turn it around. Yeah. So maybe you can get cut off and then we can hunt in the tree. Alrighty, you guys. Alright. What's up, you guys? I'm going to show you how I cook my cauliflower. And I just rinsed off and cleaned it really good. So what we're going to do is start off by cutting that bottom part off. Taking all this off. today is it's gonna be like cheesy cauliflower so kind of like a what you call that um kind of like a scallop potato type of deal but just with cauliflower but more quicker and simpler simpler so cauliflower sometimes you'll see those little markings on it a lot like that what I do I just cut that off I don't know why that gets on there. I don't know if it gets molded or, or just discoloration. But you could just easily like take your knife and just go over it and just knock it right on off. So it's still good. It's a whole head of cauliflower. And just knock that off. And like I said, I think it's just the discoloration, like how bananas change colors or whatever. I think that's just what it is. So after that, we're just gonna go ahead and cut them off because we already to rinse them and whatnot you could put them in their hole or you could just simply just cut it into little big pieces you could do cauliflower mash i prefer if you do anything with cauliflower and forgive me if you see my, my hands they're still hurting they're sore i sprung my thumb the other night but anyways yeah just break them but anyway make sure your cauliflower is fresh i could eat a whole head of cauliflower in a night because i love it you know how you season it we're going to steam it in the microwave oh my thumb hurts so bad put a little water in there and then steam it So that's what we're going to do with that. We got that out right the way. We have this. We're going to go ahead and put that away and clean up our mess. And then I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, you guys. So we're back. And now, one thing we have to do, take that light away. Natural light is this. So there we go. Um, I just cleaned it, rinsed off again, and as you can see, that is the amount of water I have in there, which you guys know I'm at work, so meal prep at work. Focus, so you can see the water amount. There we go. Not a lot. It's a little bit at the bottom. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and put our lid on and steam it uh two to three minutes at a time okay so and then you get it to the consistency that you like your cauliflower my rather firm soft whatever cook it to how you like it then we will be, we'll be back for seasoning okay you guys now we're back now our broccoli which is broccoli our cauliflower is nice and cooked how i like mine very still i can like get it and i can like break it with my fork my spoon or fork so it's perfect so I'm going to use some salt and pepper. I'm going to use like three to four packs of pepper. I'm not sure what the amount is. I might use more because I like that peppery taste. Some packets have more than other peppers. So I like, like I said, I like that peppery taste. And if you did not know a fun fact, spice, some spicy, not some spicy foods will leave you fuller than any other foods. 
like the cayenne and stuff. So I think I'll use like a total of five peppers. I'm gonna use some salt. It's not a lot of salt, you guys. These package don't come with a lot of salt. Trust me. Now we're going to use some ragu alfredo sauce. You can make yours from scratch if you like. I'm going to put on a little bit in there. Towel. Move that out the way. Put some accent in there. Come on, accent. Yeah, her A is a lot of sodium and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you might be right, babies. Now, what I do now is I take my bottom, my top back on there. Make sure the lid is closed good, and I swirl it around. Swirl it around. Shake it around. Do all that goodness. You see, it's all getting combined. It still has water in there, of course. Add a little bit more. I haven't tried the ragu kind. I had prego last time. I have it at the house, actually. And then we're going to add a couple slices of cheese. Pop it back in the microwave. And then you can eat it as you see fit. Make sure you pour enough water off. So you won't have all saucy unless you like it like that. But I'm going to put like three slices of cheese in here. Provolone cheese from Sargento. You can also use these as wraps. The stuff you tur put turkey inside of it with bacon, uh, turkey, bacon, lettuce, all you put all that inside of there. Um, like I said, just whatever. You can make ravioli with these. I learned that on TikTok. So I'm going to put this lid back on there, pop it in the microwave for another two minutes so the cheese will be completely melted. And I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to show you the final product. So now while we're, we are waiting on that to cook, we're going to have a little snack. So I'm, oh, got it. Some sweet heat skin. You guys, I told y'all nutrition facts on this so many times. Yeah, and we're having some um, from her dad's salsa. It's an off brand I wanted to try today. And it's on the two carbs and 10 calories per serving. But I haven't really eaten nothing all day, you guys. Like, honestly, I really haven't. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. It's mild oh. flavor, a little spicy. Let's get back to cooking. Okay, now we're back. Woo, hot. Nice and cheesy. Now you can add bacon in this. You can add whatever you like. Now, a lot did add, uh, leave a little too much water in here, but as the sauce is already through the food, so what I'm gonna do is pour some of the um, sauce off. Hold on. Put it back. And this is basically how you make the macaroni, but you know you do it with, do it your macaroni way. And we're gonna have a taste. Make sure you well season your food, you guys. So let's taste all that cheesy goodness. Tastes good. I do feel like I need a little bit more salt. And one thing I do notice. That ragu 
uh, ragu, uh, uh, Alfredo sauce isn't better than um, Prego. Still good. Mm. But it's not better than Prego. It's like I'm already in my dinner. But this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. I need wings like I'm Dollar General. Honey barbecue boneless. Um it's uh one is four grams of carbs or four grams. Protein is thirteen and hundred and sixty calories. And it says, um, per three ounces, edible portion. Serving, so it's like four to five people will eat this. And I'm going to have probably three wings out of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these in the microwave. Um, inside of a bowl, of course. Um, flats only. Put them in the microwave for like, um, three to, three to five minutes. Maybe just three minutes to defrost them very well. And then pop them in my air fryer, which you see right there. That's when I leave it at the job. And then let them bake. So yeah. Meal prep at work. Going for another bite. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mozzarella cheese or some of that orange. Ooh. I do got some um what the cheese called? Sharp cheese? I do got that, but it's frozen in the freezer. I'ma see can I shave some off. Here's my cheese right there. This extra sharp cheddar. I'ma see can I do that, but yeah just experiment with your food you guys and see how you like it i'm actually to be honest i'm about full right now to be honest yeah i told you solid foods make me fuller faster it won't make me stay fuller longer but it's fuller faster